Hi, on this video I will open the login.aspx and add the hyperlink forgot password which refers to the page account forgot.aspx in order to show you the error that will occur when the user tries to reset his password. So let's go ahead and see how to do this. So when we expand the account folder here, we will find the login page and the forgot page. Let's open the login page and let's go to the design mode. So we want to place our uh, hyperlink here under the password field required validator. So I will click on it and go to the source and then after the form group already finished, I will put my hyperlink here. So let's start by typing the hyperlink code and forgot dot aspx and on the text here I will type and then save all and control plus f5 and type a at a.com and then go to the forgot password and click here he will ask me to type the email and by clicking the email link button, the user expects to receive an email contains a hyperlink titled reset password, which should redirect him back to the website to determine a new password. The user either does not exist or is not confirmed. This is the error message I will get when I type my email account. And why this message is displayed here? If we go to the users table here and right click show table data we will find that this account a at a.com has no email confirmed so by default when you create a new user the email is not confirmed it's set to false so in order for the reset password utility to work properly there are four conditions First, the registered user has to provide an existing and valid email during the registration process. Second, as a developer, you should add the SMTP email configuration to your project in order for your website to become capable of sending automatically generated emails. As a developer, you have to write the code responsible for sending emails during the registration process. Fortunately, this code snippet is already written on your behalf on the register.aspx.vb page. However, you have to uncomment it. Number four, the user has to open the email message which has been sent to him immediately after registration and click the confirm email hyperlink in order for his account to become confirmed. On the next video, I will show you how to achieve those steps practically. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please press like.